Good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. My name is Justin Smith. Today we're going to do another video for you guys of a brand new arrival that just showed up here the other day. What I have in front of me is a 2018 Sherry Ram ProMaster Conversion Van. Now this particular van is stock number 28316T as in Tom. And this is a 159 inch wheelbase so that makes it our nine passenger. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite colors that we have on, on the ProMaster. Uh, this is a beautiful deep cherry red metallic paint. Um, a lot of you refer to it as maroon, burgundy, um, but it does have a metallic flake in it and it really pops in the sun. Just like all of our ProMaster vans that we do here at the dealership, all the body panels have been painted to match the factory paint such as the front fascia, uh, the power mirrors, the running boards, and of course all the door handles. Now if you're new to our videos, uh, the one thing that makes this van so special is that it is a front wheel drive conversion van. Um, so it's going to handle a lot better than just about anything else out there on the market. The turning radius is only 36 feet folks. Um, that's the turning radius of a Honda Civic. Um, so it's very easy to park. Um, especially going down an aisle way at the grocery store. Uh, if you want to whip right in, it's easily done. And uh, I tell you, it's fantastic in such a big vehicle as, as such as this 159-inch uh, ProMaster. Not only is the front-wheel drive make it easier to drive, it's al always going to be better in all weather conditions, snow, rain. And with it being front-wheel drive, it gives us the tallest interior space in the van segment. We have a roof height inside the van of six foot four. Um, so with no drive shaft going to the rear wheel, we have the lowest floor in the van segment. So easier to get in and get out and uh, walk around the van. So I'm gonna go around the outside of this van before we jump into the inside and go over all the goodies there. Now we do offer a couple different wheel packages on our ProMaster. Uh, this is an 18 inch chrome wheel. We do offer an 18 inch black wheel privacy glass all the way around in the back of the vehicle now we used to tent the front windows up here folks we don't do that anymore because every state um, has different compliances but if you know your state's laws and would like these front windows tinted to match the back we can certainly uh, accommodate that for you now that's a five percent limo tent on the back glass so that's going to ensure you the best protection from the sun and make sure that uh, your privacy is there. Now we do have shades on the inside and we'll get, get to that once we get inside. So all the rear windows do have shades. But at the back of this van, I wanna go over some important safety features that the ProMaster has to offer. Starting with the rear backup camera. Now the backup camera is located top dead center. Uh, a lot of manufacturers like to put the backup camera on one of the doors. Never really figured that out because it's not centered. So it's, it's kind of hard to read that backup image uh, accurately when it's off to one side. So ours is top dead center. I love that. So you get a really good um, idea of where something is if, if you do have something behind you. And the way that that backup camera works is just like any other backup camera. There's no button to activate it or anything like that. You just simply put the vehicle in reverse and you're gonna get a colored image on your 5.0 Uconnect nav radio or whatever might be behind you. Now paired up with that backup camera, you see we have these factory backup sensors and there's four of them in the rear bumper. So not only are you gonna get a color visual of whatever might be behind you, you're gonna get an audible alert that's gonna intensify the closer you might become to an object um, behind you. So that's an awesome safety feature paired up with the, um, the backup sensors. Now, moving along with the safety features. So we went over the backup camera sensors. This vehicle does have traction control, anti-lock brakes, hill start brake assist, and rollover mitigation. So um, if you need more detail on those safety features, what they actually do for the vehicle, uh, feel free to give me a call and I can explain in more detail. Now, now that we've covered all the safety features, I wanna talk about capability here. Um, obviously this van is designed to carry nine passengers in extreme comfort it does that it does that very well but you can also tow with a ProMaster and a lot of people don't realize that this has the factory tow package and if you notice right here you've got your seven pin 
and four pin flat from the factory. So right away, this thing's ready to tow, tow that boat to the lake and the towing capacity of the ProMaster is 5,100 pounds, no matter what motor option you choose. Now let's dig and dig into this, uh, the back of this thing, jump right into the back and show you everything that's nine passenger has to offer. But before we get in there, I wanna talk about the door. Um, if you notice, it is a manual sliding door. A lot of people ask if there is a power option. There is. It is not a factory option. It is an aftermarket option. Um, and if you want details on that, give me a call. We can go over pricing and availability and time uh, that it takes to do something like that. But I'm telling you, you unless you're looking for a mobility applica application or something like that, it's really not necessary. I mean, I can open this van with just one or two fingers and the more that you open that door and shut it the easier it's gonna get now let's get into the back of this thing um, what we have in the back of this van well throughout the van is a light gray interior with some dark gray carpet dark gray bottom wall and a light gray upper wall now you might notice that we do have the piping on all of our seats this is just a lighter gray than the light gray so um, helps dress up this seat and as you can see we do all the all four of these captain chairs are swivel seats now they all do feature a power recline and will slide forward and back um, and while we're on the the subject of this captain chairs let me see if I can get this down far enough to show you all of these chairs do have tether hooks uh, for car seats and a rear anchor in the back now since it is a swivel seat, um, we, we incorporated the seat belt directly in the chair instead of coming off the pillar like a lot of vans do. Um, so no matter which way you're facing in this van, you're gonna be safe and secure at all times. Obviously in the, a lot of the competitors' vans where the, the seat belt's coming off the pillar, if you swivel the chair around, there's no way to be safely buckled in the chair anymore. So that's a great feature that I wanted to key in on uh, before I actually step in here. Now, being a nine-passenger van, obviously there's um, four captain chairs in this van. I'm going to walk down the aisle here. And again, they are all swivel. And then a rear sofa with three seat belts. Now, this rear sofa is a power sofa as well. It'll slide forward and back, all power. And will fold completely flat if you want to use it as a bed. And incorporated with the captain chair right in front of it swiveled around it'll accommodate somebody as tall as me at six foot two privacy shades as i mentioned from the outside all the rear windows in the back have privacy shades so that that uh those really come into key at nighttime especially when you've got this van lit up and you don't want to be a, you know other cars to be able to see and that's where these really um really shine right there overhead storage all the way above all the way around, I should say. Um, so there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven overhead storage cabinets. Great for knickknacks, DVDs, remote controls. Keep that clutter off the floor and um, keep mom and dad happy. Now, rear entertainment. <clears throat> this does feature a JVC Bluetooth capable rear radio. Uh, you do have a 110 right here, two USB charging ports and an HDMI input. Um, there are USB ports throughout the van. <clears throat> they are located at every chair, minus this chair here. Uh, no way to get the power in the door. So plenty of charging ports back here. And last but not least, the TV. Everybody wants to know what kind of TV it is. This is a 32 inch Vizio LED smart television. So it's got all the applications you would expect and uh, all the smart devices that are available in today's market. And that is paired up to an LG Smart Blu-ray player. Indirect lighting all the way around the top of the ceiling. That can be on or off. It doesn't have to be on at all times. <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies are getting to me, folks. I apologize. It's all this cottonwood flying around. Um, indirect lighting that breaks up the wall uh, between the dark gray and the light gray. And all your cup holders in the back are have lighting as well. So you won't have any problem finding those at night. Now the rear heat and air is controlled right here. 
next to the radio and this is a Pro Air 2 system. It does have an auto feature so you set it to your desired temperature and the fan is going to adjust on its own to get to that temperature. It's a great system, I have no problem cooling or heating this van in the winter months. Now we'll jump right up to the front. Did you guys notice how I walked right from the front to the back? There's no center console right here. That's why we decided to put everything on this wall so we could keep this aisle way open. Mom, it'll be easy for you to get back to the kiddos if need be. Now up in the front, I'm sitting here in the driver's seat. All the amenities you would expect to find in a modern vehicle or in all of our Pro Masters. Leather wraps or leather wrap steering wheel hand controls on both sides of the airbag to change radio stations, navigate your radio, give it voice commands, answer a hands-free Bluetooth phone call. Keyless entry um, on this van, power windows, both sides, um, power mirrors that are heated. Um, you see right here, they also will power collapse. And even your blind spot mirror down here at the bottom is power. I mean, I drive a $50,000 pickup truck and it does not have power blind spot or power blind spot mirrors. Um, so that's really interesting and uh, I think a very, very helpful feature, especially if you're by yourself. Um, it's no fun to have to get out of the vehicle, go adjust that mirror over there on that side manually, only to find out when you get back in the driver's seat, it's not right. So that power feature will really come in handy. Overhead storage, folks. Um, here's your actual visor, but above the visor, you can see there's overhead storage up here. I thought that was a really cool feature. Uh, available in the Pro Master. The radio up in the front. You connect navigation 5.0 radio, all touch screen. Uh, does have AM FM radio and satellite radio built in. Um, cruise control, I don't know if I mentioned that. Telescopic steering wheel. Um, plenty of charging ports up front. You've got a DC and a USB for the uh, passenger. Also a USB back in this little cubby hole and a 3.5 auxiliary input as well. Six cup holders up in the front, plenty of storage for drinks. Little storage compartment over here on the passenger side dashboard above the airbag. Little cubby uh, storage right here and then your standard glove box right here. Now that pretty much wraps up the inside of this 2018 Sherry Promaster. Uh, nine passenger conversion van now if there was anything on this van that I didn't cover Maybe you saw a different van here that you had some questions on feel free to give me a call and ask I'm always around willing to answer anybody's question and for those of you that like the videos that we do here at Paul Sherry We appreciate that but we kindly ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook That's gonna better your chances on not missing out on a great fantastic deal here at Paul Sherry conversion vans Thanks again for watching Again, my name is Justin Smith. I hope you have a great day.